Hello, dear friends. Welcome from Warsaw, Poland, the city that had a privilege of hosting a last two Eurocon that was, able, uh, that was possible to do it in person. And this time we have online Eurocon, but we still remember and we still thanking God for what he did in our life and in this city and in this church because of Eurocon. And we, I want to share with you like this one thought from Mark 8, because we hear this story, uh, we have a story there, when Jesus and his disciple went into the boat, and disciple was scared and panicking that they took only one piece of bread, and it's not enough for all of them. So they, pan they, were, they saw the uh, circumstance, cir circumstances, and they were panicking. We have just one bread. And Jesus looked at them and he said, oh guys, why you don't understand this? You don't remember what happened when we have 5,000 people and we have only five breads? How many baskets we take with the leftovers? Hmm, Twelve. And how many baskets we uh, collect after we fed 4,000 people with, five, with seven breads, seven baskets. So why you don't remember this and you concentrate only on the problem that you have right now, that you have one bread? And you know, this story teaching, teaching me that we as a church, we as a people, we should never uh, forget the things that we should remember. We never should forget about God's blessing in our life, what he did in our life, how he like, led us through all these problems that we had during our life. Of course, we can concentrate on viruses, on lockdowns, on all kinds of problems, because right now we have just one bread. But never forget to remember what God did in your life and how he was faithful, how he was with you, and, you know, the teach, uh, disciples were scared because they had only one bread, but they forget that living bread was with them in this boat. So um, for us and for me, the, I still remember how God, uh, what God did in our lives uh, through Eurocon here in Warsaw. And I wanted to introduce you to one person. Uh, she is, like, a really great person. When I look at her... I see her heart that is full of love for God, uh, her burden for the lost people, and her um, servant heart. She's so amazing. And she is a fruit of Eurocon, the last Eurocon that we had. So I wanted her to share her testimony about what God did and how important Eurocon was in her life. So please, Leonie, can you share your testimony with us. Hi everyone, um, so um, my name is Leonie and um, I'm um, from Ireland. I'm studying veterinary medicine here in Warsaw. Um, this is my third year of studies um, and so I have wanted to be a vet for my whole life since I could speak pretty much and um, I was initially thinking of studying in Ireland um, but I needed some kind of backup plan um, in case I didn't get enough points in my final exam in high school so um, Warsaw was teaching veterinary medicine in English so I had this backup plan but um, when I went to see the city and the university I just fell in love with it and even though I got accepted in um, university in Ireland I decided no I want to go to Warsaw um, so it was quite an unusual thing to do um, and pretty random. Um, so in my first year of university and my studies, um, it was a bit of a struggle. Uh, I was, um, I had always believed in God, but I was um, really falling into a worldly way and um, really just losing any sight of um, what the purpose of life was and um, what was my purpose um, and um, one of my one of my friends who I knew from Ireland she had moved back to Budapest 
um, in maybe 2012. And so we hadn't seen each other for like eight years. And she told me, hey, I'm coming to Warsaw for this um, church conference that I'm having. And I said, great, we should meet up. So we met up in the city and she invited me to come to Eurocon. Um, and when I was there, I heard this message of grace for the first time in my life. And the Holy Spirit like opened my eyes to the fact that it's not about me being a good or bad person. It's about what Jesus has done. He's already fulfilled everything. And all I need to do is truly give my heart to him and believe in him. Um, and so from that moment, my life slowly began changing. I started reading the Bible and I um, was going to a few different churches and kind of um, searching w what God's calling for my life was. Um, but um, yeah, so I've uh, eventually I came back to greater grace. Um, and I just, I know now, what what my identity is it's it's in Christ and you know I'm so undeserving of his love I'm such a sinner but um he just pours out his grace he allows me to get up every morning and especially in my studies they can be really difficult but um I have just he has showed me that I don't need to fear and I just need to put my trust in him in everything um so that's how Eurocon um impacted my life I made one of the most important decisions of my life at Eurocon two years ago. So um, really looking forward to it being in person again, definitely. So we, you just heard uh, Leonie's testimony and uh, she got saved at uh, Eurocon two years ago. And uh, it was my dream to sing this song at last year's Eurocon in Budapest, it didn't happen. So we're just gonna go ahead and sing it today. And I hope, we hope it blesses you as much as it has blessed us. been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up till I lay my head I will sing of the goodness of God all my life you have been faithful Sing of the goodness of God. 